Hello guys and welcome back to the bench with Gilly. Today is March 24, 2020. Well, I know I haven't been putting out a few videos lately, but I'm trying to get back to the swing of things. And today we're going to be starting on what's in the mail. Well, some of this stuff came in a couple weeks ago, but with all that Corona thing going on, I have to put some of it in uh, quarantine. Yeah, 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 I got a little scared too, who cares. So, first thing came in, that was a little six inch Lazy Suzanne here, turntable. Some of you not too sure why I got one. I'll show you, I like to put that puppy there and makes it a lot easier for doing Okay, make sure there's nothing on there. Okay. Light work, like that. Keep doing air, working my way around. Things like that. Oh, oh excuse me. Crashed. Back her up a little bit. There we go. Now we got clearance. So I got this little turntable just for doing work. So when I go to work here, move it around. I don't have to touch the tank or my plain object too much. And can also use it as a video for the videos. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. So that's one of the first things that came in on the Lazy Suzanne turntable. She came in one piece. Said it's only about six inches. Six. Flat side, same thing at the bottom, but here I added a nice mouse, sticky mouse pad thingy. Other than that, or it should be sliding around like that. Oh, nice little cushion. See, she's not moving anywhere. And spin it around as much as I want. So, that's one of the first things that came in. And yeah, we'll move that off to the side. And also that came in with the turntable are these clear. You see they're clear. They're plastic. A little dirty. There we go. And the reason I got these is we have a model and train show every once a year and for the cheap price of $21 I got the three tier set times two here's the other ones so not bad for 15 bucks and uh, like I said they'll be coming in like that see so I can raise it heights. If I have a smaller one like say a 72 I can stick that right there just like that. See? They'll come in handy once it comes to showtime. You can find these all on Amazon, eBay. I got mine off Amazon. Just nice little things to have while you're on a trade show, display them, instead of just lining them all across the table like. So that's what I got off Amazon, $17, set of three, and I got two sets for that one price. to pack up like that good to go and some other stuff that came in from China was my new turntable it's an electric turntable it's kind of this cheap plastic mirror image thingy it's not glass it's just plastic clear or shiny stuff 
There we can put it on as a high and a low, but the low is too slow, so I'll just keep her on high. See here, she turned around at yay speed. Something else I'll be using for the model train store or if I ever go to another model competition I can throw that up there just just because so in upcoming videos and talks you'll be seeing more of this I'll turn that off and the size of that is actually 7 inches Not bad for another cheap price of $17 all the way from China. Takes a couple C batteries. Not so heavy, probably about a pound and a half. Still does the job. And I also got this that came in with the turntable. It's a 3D illusion lamp. Comes in a nice little black box, made in China. You see why I said it was on quarantine. This actually came from Wuhan. <laughs> this box. Oh, uh, so you can see the sticker on the front and what it is. Yeah. If you caught that, then you probably know what I'm gonna show you next. So. Oh. Here's a 3D illusion lamp. Probably can't see too much of it with my lights. Let me turn those off for now. Comes with this cute little remote. And we'll actually lie it down so you guys can actually see what it does. Dun dun dun! Yes, it's a 3D Illusion Tiger Tank. Sporting a nice ruby red or blue or green or a mixture of blue, green, white, and red. So, a cute little thing that came in cost me $25. I couldn't pass it up, I had to have it for the bench. has a high and low dimmer switch for the lights it's just something I wanted for my bench oh, it's pretty cool maybe something you guys would like to pick up too, who knows but I figured I'd share that with you guys I saw a few others but this is one of the favorite ones that I like there so I picked up the tiger one A little off on switch. I kind of like the strobing light with all the different colors coming in. Not much to her except the base, and like she's very thin, a few millimeters wide. So, hope you guys like that little one. I'll be placing that up here on my bench. Turn that on every once in a while. Drive the ladies crazy. So, turn the lights back on. Move my little spongies. And I'll keep my little remote right there. And other things I also like to buy when I'm on. I also like to shop in bulk. Don't you just hate when you go to the hobby shop and then they sell you five of these for four bucks? Well, this is these are puppets or pipettes. I got these off of Amazon. 
if you look under I forgot which one it was anyways but anyways yeah you can look under if you type in pepettes and Amazon you'll find these but if you keep searching and scrolling towards the end, you'll find them a lot cheaper. Comes in a 200 count bag. See a little 200C there. And I bought two of these for $13. So I'll have enough for a while. Yeah, that's one of the things I like. I go through a lot of these, so. But like I said, 13 bucks. You got a big 200 count bag. It's better to buy in bulk and you won't be shopping it so much. Also, another thing I also buy in bulk. Here are some ladies cosmetic pointed tip q-tips or cotton buds as you can see here it's got the really nice sharp point you can find these in the ladies cosmetic part section in Amazon I got two of these bags they're 200 count or yeah 100 count in each bag I believe let's see so yep 100 count for each bag so two of these I got like 800 cotton buds they're the nice strong ones here's a cheapo so if you can compare you know, you can already it's losing its shape this one you can I said it's made for I'm beating them up at the same time, so look at that. And the pointed ones, they're very good for panel line washing and all that, figures. I said the women use these for their makeup and stuff, nice and strong. You can find all this on uh, Amazon. Ladies cosmetic part. So these, these are ladies eyeliner brushes. Same thing, find them on Amazon, ladies cosmetic part. Get a hundred pack of these for three, four bucks. Great for little quick jobs, nice and pointed tip. Come in a pack like that, so you get you get a hundred of these too. I'm almost out, so I'll have to get another pack. So, that's the Q-tips. And there's the uh, papettes. And another thing I also like to buy on Amazon. Um, these are... Little packs of you can see it. These are 30 millimeter little portion cups. Those little portion cups you get with cop syrup. Same thing. You can get these off Amazon as well. Here I'm down to one here. 500 count. So. And I think I only paid like eight dollars per pack, so I got two of these for eight bucks. Two of these, eight bucks a piece. You see, I go through lots, so that's pretty cheap. Most of the time, I recycle, depending on how quickly I clean them up. So, another thing I also buy in bulk. Yeah, so that was on the shopping list this week. 
We got the little portion cups I use for mixing paints, whatnot. Here we have the cotton buds. You will get these on Amazon. These are nice little pointed ones, nice and stiff, fairly cheap. And the puppets. 200 count, last you a long time. I bought the two pack one, so I think I'm good for a while. And I believe that was it that came in on the shopping network. The old lady just came back from her trip and she got me a new cup. Aren't I lucky? Nice new beer mug. You see it says liquid luck. Little four leaf clover. Thank you. And another thing we also got are some toilet paper. Yeah, you can also buy these on bulk. But you don't have to. It's an everyday necessity. You don't have to run around, get scared, and buy out the whole store. So if you think this is going to save you from the coronavirus, I kind of doubt it. One little sneeze. So all you hoarders out there, calm down. There's no need to panic. And if you do, I'll send you a toilet paper. Don't be shy to ask. I got lots. Okay, all joking aside here. So, Mr. John A. Miller, if you're watching, here's that mini art rune diorama that I was doing. They're fun little kits. They come in through a couple slab pieces, like the base here, and you basically just cut them out, glue them together, putty them, fix them up, paint them. Awesome little kits. Oh yeah, that's the one I'm working on now. And the one I'll be doing shortly. For some of you that know me and follow me on Facebook, you all know I... My compressor kicked the bucket. She kind of fried out on me. So I have to wait a few days for a sale to come on and a friend of mine's gonna pick me up one on his discount, so uh, it's a little sacrifice I have to while I wait. But until then, can't stop me from building, so I'll be doing this next. This is a mini art country diorama. From the diorama series, kit number 36027. You can see it comes with two little buildings, a street, a couple of fence, and I don't think there'll be any trees in there. So, And that's how she'll look when she's done. Front view. Back view of it. Sorry. So I'll be getting started on that today. Yeah, I got a few days to get her building on it before my sale starts and then I can pick up a new compressor. So that's what I'll be doing in the meantime. Stay, stay tuned for an upcoming unboxing. I'll be doing this one, the Bandai Space Battleship Yamato Series 2199. The kit is 1 1,000th scale. And that. So, I'd like to thank you guys for coming on this little walk with me to the mailbox. Stay tuned for some more reviews. 
As usual, thank you. You don't have to subscribe, you don't have to tell a friend, I'm not like that. But it's up to you. Thank you, see you on the next video.